In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Well, good evening, everyone. It's December 4th, 2021, and I'm just taking FSD Beta 10.6 out for a run on Test Loop 1. It is all clear to the left. It's just inching forward to take a look. It's still clear. There's the decision to go. So I didn't have to do anything there. It took a little longer than I naturally would have taken, but it's definitely improving in that decision process, making it quick, the, the decision quicker. Still missing that 45 sign after I get on the Plum Canyon Road. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Blue K Canyon Road. confident in the oncoming lane but I can't now see it due to the right out to Bouquet Canyon Road. Okay, let's see how it handles this right turn. Oh, we got a hitman screen. Very smooth. Still have to tap it through this intersection. Still not signaling for the merge but handled the merge fine. Nice, it slowed to 50 by the, very close to the sign there. 1,000 feet, turn left onto Mount Road. Okay, I don't want to see the turn signal yet. It should come on now. Now turn left onto Mount Road. A little late. There it is. left turn of course no oncoming traffic but I'll try this again during the day when it's a little busier see how it hits the speed bump 17 miles an hour 16 17 miles an hour nice stop Pedestrians there that saw. It's doing the creep forward again. There's nothing really around to see around except maybe those cars, but proceeded. That beep was just needing a tug on In the wheel. In 500 feet, turn left onto Copper Hill Drive. 17 miles an hour for the speed bump. I bet you it does the creep forward here as well. Let's see how long it takes to proceed. There's the creep. Slowing down a bit. Kind of stopping. I'm going to set that one in. Okay, you should see these speed bumps in the crest here. There they are. Now turn left yep. onto Copper Hill Drive. Oh, it's stopping way back here again. Kind of far right in the lane, but it seems to be correcting. Moving up to the stop line. It's clear, it could proceed. There is a car coming from the left, so it's gonna move, but it's a far ways out. There we go. So, didn't exactly handle that stop sign very well, but it recovered. the brake here. Two pulses and then a nice gentle stop to the red. I'll leave it. They'll see that. Let's 
taking its time. I think it's keeping an eye on that car. It did look like that car was blue, which is it can cross our path. Just a little hesitation in the speed there, getting up to 50. the green not bad a left turn there stop here. There's the green. It's proceeding. I didn't have to do anything there. Are we going to get an interventionless drive? I, didn't, I haven't even tapped the accelerator. Okay. Correction. I did once to authorize it through an intersection. But that was just an auth authorization to proceed. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Vine Joyce Drive. This shouldn't be too complicated for it. There's no oncoming traffic. Now turn left onto Vine Joyce Drive. Left turn's a little late there. Turn left turn signal. There we go. Test loop one on FSD beta 10.6. 